In this recovery tutorial, I will show you how to log back into your account or how to recover your Gmail or Google account when you don't have access to your two-step and other verification method. Like this one, it will ask you to select at least one of your two-factor authentication to log back into your account. But if you follow my methods correctly, you can log back into your account really easily without having them. Then you will get this success message as well as it says Google has been removed your two-factor authentication and two-step verification and it has been reversed all your changes. Then you can use your Google account as you earlier did. So let's jump into this tutorial, see how you can do this. Here I will show you two different methods. As the first method, you can try out the any Google application. Here I will select the Gmail one. If you want, you can try out another Google product. So I will open my Gmail application like this. After opening, tap the profile picture in the top right corner. Then you have to select add another account. Then you will get this setup email. Under that, select Google. Now just wait a few seconds until they get checked. Then you will get this sign in window. Here you have to enter the email address that you want to log back in. Tap the next button. Then it asks you to enter your password. Here, if you want, you can tap, try another way and go forward. But I recommend you to enter your Gmail account password if you already have it. If you don't have the recent password, you can try out any of your last password. If you enter your password or not, Google will immediately redirect to your two-step verification section. Here, if you don't have access any of these two-step verification method, you can just tap try another way. Like this one, you will get all your two-step verification method. Here, you have to select at least one of these two-step verification log back into your account. Like this one, you can use another device if you already log in. As well as if you can get a security code, you can enter it. Then you can enter a verification code from your authentication application if you have turned it on. But if you can't access, you can go back and check another verification method. If you have turned on backup code, you can enter one of these backup code here. As well as you can use your pass key. As a pass key, you can use your screen lock, bring up in face or pattern. Here, I recommend you to use this feature. Tap continue, but sometimes Google doesn't allow access this feature if you didn't create any pass key. Then you will get this error message. Don't worry, just go back and you can select the last option, try another way or get help option. Here, I will select the get help option. Then, it asks me to use another device since I can't use them. I will tap try another way. You can go through this recovery process multiple times. Google doesn't suspend or lock your account. So you can try out with different device and different location and different network. So just tap try another way. If you got these too many fails attempts or any other error, then if you couldn't answer any of their question, most of you would get couldn't sign no in error message. Don't worry. If you got this message, all you have to do, watch the error fixing video in the description. After watching that video, easily you can fix this error and log back into your account. In that video, I have completely shown you how to contact Google team directly and get access to recover your account. As well as in this video, I will show you a simple trick. Here, you can go to this setting menu, you can change your network mode. If you are using Wi-Fi network, you can connect to familiar Wi-Fi network or you can use your mobile data. As well as I recommend you to turn on your location permission. Then you can use, then let's jump into the second method. For the second method, you can use any browser. Here I will use Google Chrome browser, but I recommend you to use your default web browser. After opening, go to search bar. Then type and search this word. Fix common issues with two-step verification Google account help. After searching, select the very first search result. Then you will redirect to 
Google account help page. Here you have to scroll down until you find if you don't have another second step or forgot your password. Under that you have to tap this blue color link. Follow the step to recover your account. If you couldn't find out this form, I will put this link in the description too. After you will get this recovery page, enter the email address, then either you can use try another way, you can use any pass key or any other verification method, but I recommend you to try out any of your last password. It doesn't need to enter your recent password if you don't have it, just try out any last password. Then you will get this two step verification. This one, it mentioned your device as well as it asks you to select the pop-up window. Then it asks you to verify that pop-up message. All you have to do, just tap yes in the device. But if you can't access that device, scroll down, tap try another way. Like earlier, it will show two step verification method and other recovery method. Here you have to select at least one of these verification method. You can try out any of your older device as well as you can go to account settings. Then it saw some direction where you can find those security code. You have to enter at least one of these security code as well as you can use your authentication application code. If you have turned on two factor authentication using another Google authentication or another third party authentication, it asks you to select that. As well as you might generate some backup code, you can enter one of those as well as pass key. You can try out your screen lock, fingerprint, or face ID or any other biometric data to unlock or verify yourself. But there is no any other way, just tap try another way. So if you got this do you have phone or do you have mobile device but if you can't access them just tap try another way as well as it asks you to use a mobile number or phone number from your account here you can select any of mobile number that you can access then you can get a one-time verification code via sms you can enter that code here but if you can't access the sim card right now you can tap try another way as well as you can get a one-time verification code via email to your recovery email address. You can enter that code here, but unfortunately, none of them are, didn't work. Just tap try another way. Then Google asks you how they can contact you. Here in this window, Google says they need some time to make sure you are the real owner of this account. So they ask you to add a new email address. Since you can't access any of your recovery, email, phone number, any other verification method, now it asks you to add a brand new email address which you can access. Then this email address will be your new recovery email address. All other recovery links and verification code too will be sent to this new recovery email ID. So all you have to do, you have to verify this email address. Then go to this new email ID. Then Google will send a one time verification code to this new email ID. So you can take a long press, then you can copy this code to the clipboard, or you can type and enter the code here. Like this, you can enter the code, then tap the next button. Then it asks you to check your contact email after 48 hours. This waiting time might be different to account to account. So after a few hours, if you check your new recovery email inbox, you can see there is a new email from Google. Then if you open that email, it says here is the link to sign back or log back into your account. They have been provided a recovery link. So click this get started button. Then you will be redirected to password recovery window. Here you can Enter your new password twice without having any of your old password. Enter new password twice, then just tap change password. After that, you will get this success message. Successfully, you have changed your password as well as you have removed all your two-step verification and 
you have been undo or reverted your Gmail settings that hacker has changed recently. If hacker made some unusual changes, Google has been reversed all of them as well as you can log back into your account without two-step verification method. Like if you go for a secret check, you can see what are the changes Google has been made or reversed. So if you see some unusual activities within your account, you can remove them. After that, you can just tap continue to your account and log back into your account. But using this method, or if you don't have your password to recover your account, all you have to do, just watch the full recovery video, how to recover just using your email ID without having password or any other verification method. You can find those tutorial in this video description, or you can click this end screen videos and come on over. See you in the next tutorial. Later.